Alright, I'm just gonna ignore the fact that I haven't recorded in 17,000 years and just act like nothing happened. Okay, but yeah, it has been like a million years since I recorded. And there's really no reason for that except for me being a lazy asshole that just doesn't feel like recording a lot of time. So, uh... But yeah, um, this current semester will end in two weeks. Like, finals week will be over in two weeks. Uh, at which point I will move back to my regular house. It feels weird saying my parents' house, but that's what it is, sort of, even though I still live there. Where's the fucking one? Alright, no. Trail! Okay. This is like the easiest minigame ever, but... But yeah, anyway, uh, oops. Uh, I'll be moving back after the semester is over, which means I would have to, if I were to want to record... Um, parts of this, I would have to go back to the really shitty setup of, like, the stack of random objects from my room and really shitty lighting and having to wait till my house has been vacated so my parentals aren't just like, what the hell are you fucking doing? Not, not that they would really do that, but I can't, like, I don't know, record as naturally when they're there. So I'm like, I have to finish this playthrough before the semester is over. So I'm trying to do that. Um, luckily for me, there's not that much left in this game, but yeah, basically, um, also I'm trying to get readjusted to the controls. I've been playing Breath of the Wild mostly, so I might like press this button and need to be like attacking and it's not. Anyway, uh, looking at my totals, um, I don't really give a shit about getting these blueprints, especially Lanky's because it's garbage in this level. Um, Oh yeah, his on that, like, inconvenience needle from my last video, but whatever. But basically, I just need to get more bananas for them, like regular bananas, and I think I'll just get out of here, because I have enough to complete the game. Oh, actually, you know what? I know where some of these are. Uh, let's just take a random warp. For, you know, funsies. Z button? Where are you? Oh, I don't have that activated. Okay. Fuck you, bats. Where does this go? Actually, I know where this one goes. Now. What about this one? We just don't know. I like how I just turned the fucking air conditioning off in here, and it's already- it already feels like too hot. Hot damn. That song is so goddamn old. And by so goddamn old, I mean like a year old. Like maybe two years old. I don't know. The passage of time is just... Bleh. No. I know there's a balloon above this structure here. Um, do I... Am I good on this? Me neither. Anyway, this is the banana from hell. Um, it's shit. Uh, I think the European version of it is actually possible, like, impossible because the game runs at a different frame rate or something, but it's it's garbage. And I might go in there to get some bananas, but if I remember correctly, there's not even that many in there. And it's just, it's, it's shitty. Maybe I should show it just to show how shitty it is. Don't tell me I've done this shit already. Well, motherfucker. Yeah, I should have reviewed what all I uh, needed to do before I came in here and started this shit again, but I do in fact need that one. Okay, five. How have I done that banana, but I didn't get the fucking number pad, whatever. Hello, camera, fucking me. So anyway, um, I don't know what to talk about. Um, well, every time I think, like, hypothetically, hmm, if I were to record a Let's Play video in the near future, which I usually don't, uh, because I'm yeah, a lazy asshole, but sometimes I'll just be wondering of, like, you know, thinking of, like, random topics that I would talk about in videos, um, and what usually occurs to me is bitching about how everybody really loves, um, the Johto games and Pokemon, and I think that they are, like, I know it's my opinion, but I feel like the problems with them are, like, objectively, like, they make them objectively worse than the other Pokemon games, 
But I'm thinking of doing a randomized emerald playthrough at some point after I finish this, and it would be more pertinent to talk about it then. So I'm not going to talk about that here, but just know that that's my opinion on it. And uh, if you want to be offended by that in the future, then just be ready for it. Now, we could leave already. Or, no, and actually, I don't think I can leave. I have to run the time down. Because I've, I mean, I've already fucked myself. There's no way I'm going to win this at this point. Hello. But, uh, yeah. There is a method to it. And if you figure out the method, it's not that bad, but it's just really, really delicious. And you don't get unlimited ammo and shit, which is really stupid. And if these things aren't, like, oops, if these things aren't, like, completely dead by the time the time runs out, it doesn't count, which is just bullshit. Uh, I almost said, like, bullshit. It's bullshit. Did you know that? But anyway, um, yeah, fuck off. It should just say fuck off. Like, if I made it again, that's what would happen. Or just be like, shut up. Just get the fuck out of my house, damn it. So now, how is it? Could do the uh, beetle race in this level with Lanky, but it's uh, also hot shit, so I will not do it. And by hot shit, I mean it's like equivalent to hot shit, not like the metaphorical hot shit. I don't really know why that caught on as being something like, oh, he thinks he's hot shit, like, he thinks he's awesome. When hot shit is really not that great. Like, it's kind of disgusting. God damn it, I can't walk. Like, I don't know why, but I'm having trouble with, like, the sensitivity of the control sticks in this game right now. Did I get that balloon? I can't tell because the draw distance is shitty, so I can't even... But anyway, um... Going back to the topic of topics to talk about. There's a lot of teas in that. Um, is there a linky thing over here? But, I, yesterday, um, realized that I think Dr. Pepper has it out for me. Like, various types of Dr. Pepper. Damn it, that's tiny. One more tier. No, because the other one is him. Okay, well, back to my original plan. This video is really fucking useless, and I apologize, but I need to get back into the group of these and get this fucking playthrough finished. But, anyway, so yeah, Dr. Pepper has it out for me, or I'm cursed, because Dr. Pepper has fucked me over in some way at least three different times in my life, all of which happened in college, and I'm beginning to wonder if something is a foot, or a pop, if that makes sense. Because, like... I know that it's carbonated. Like, all pop- well, not all pop, but a lot of pop is, like, carbonated. And so, if you shake it or agitate the bottle in some way, or can, but in, this, in my case, these have been bottles, then, you know, the carbonation will- uh, I don't know what the proper word is. It, like, it fizzes up really bad, and then it'll, like, spray out of the cap, and it's just a fucking mess. And I recognize that, but- like, yesterday I took the precautions. Other bananas in here, yes. That's all I'm here for. I guess I got a banana though. Bitch, I let go of the B button. But, so I like got a Dr. Pepper yesterday and put it in my backpack in such a way that would make sure that while I was walking back to my apartment, it would not, like, get really agitated. And this has worked with other kinds of pop. Then, you know. I got back to my apartment and put the Dr. Pepper in my fridge where I let it sit for like a fucking hour and um, then like went to open it and it still fizzed up and overflowed so goddamn much. Like seriously the top like fifth of that pop just overflowed from over carbonation and got all over my fucking counter and on my floor and it was really stupid. And I'm like, this had never happened this bad with Pepsi or Mountain Dew. And I don't know where I can get 10 more bananas, so this is bad. So, in addition to that, another time where I had been walking with Dr. Pepper in my bag. Um, I'm surprised that didn't hurt me. Which, my am I facing? Um, I had, like, forgotten to let it settle. 
and then it like sprayed out and got like all over my friend's bed in her dorm and like on my clothing and the floor and it was really fucking stupid and because her roommate ex-roommate was like a fucking hobo her like dirty clothes were just on the floor so um i don't know why i did that uh, it, like, I risked getting Dr. Pepper on her clothes, and I didn't even know that girl, and it was just really fucking stupid. And then this other time, like, in between those, the other two stories, there was, like, I had, I had some Dr. Pepper, and I drank some of it. And then, um, hello, Thunder. I really don't, I don't want to storm while I'm recording this, but, you know. <laughs> What was I saying? Uh, oh, so I, I drank some Dr. Pepper and I didn't want any more for a little bit. So I proceeded to, you know, like anyone would, put the cap back on the bottle and then put it in the fucking fridge. And I guess I had apparently not fully tightened the cap back onto the bottle because the next time I opened the fridge, the entire, like, bottom right corner of it was fucking covered in Dr. Pepper, including, like, a bag of bread and, like, these shelves that were luckily empty. But I was like, what's that noise? Because I thought I'd been hearing some weird noises and I thought maybe it was the freezer because the freezer just sometimes sounds like it's pissing just in the fridge. And it's not, but it sounds like it. So I was like, maybe it's just the freezer making weird noises. And then I go in there and then I have to, like mop out the entire bottom half of the fucking fridge and I'm like why does Dr. Pepper hate me like what did I do to deserve this garbage from this one particular brand of coke well it's not coke well it might, they might it might be owned by coke I don't know I really should be showing these because they're boring and this one is long but I don't want to look for 10 more blue bananas so maybe I can get away with not getting them that'd be pretty bitchin because then I could just fight the boss in this level, or this video, and, uh, then, you know, get on with my life. Actually, let's just go ahead and see if I can do that now. Because I don't think the boss, well, I know that the boss of this one is, like, not hard at all, but I don't know if I can get it done in, like, the next five-ish minutes. Uh, I should have a little bit more space for slightly longer videos because I down the quality. Um, I apologize if that's like offensively noticeable, but I don't like these videos don't need to be in like 1080p. There's no reason for that. So much money should be fine. I mean, nobody watches my videos anyway, but um, like nobody's coming to this channel even giving a shit about like Shakespearean video quality. And no, that doesn't make that's not like a logical comparison metaphor simile whatever the fuck it is oh my god do you eat slow you're like me as a baby this is a really random tangent to go on but yeah i guess i ate really goddamn slow as a baby like sometimes i would be like if my parents were feeding me like peas or something sometimes i would like go to sleep with the peas still in my mouth I really shouldn't have said that because it sounded like I had urine in my mouth. And that's not true! That's never happened, thankfully, because it's probably disgusting. Apparently not harmful, unless you're like really fucking sick, but I mean, nobody wants urine in their mouth. Well, no, some people probably would, but generally you wouldn't. Well, I guess I don't really have another five minutes to do this boss because these motherfuckers eat too slow. This one. I like how, for some reason, in these apartments, when it's raining, it sounds like it's hailing because I guess maybe it's the roofs. I don't know. It just. It sounds like if you had a sheet of metal and were like tapping on it with your finger like an asshole repetitively, that's what it sounds like when it's raining really hard here and it's obnoxious. You know, as if like the AC wasn't loud as God himself returning, but then like if it rains, it's like white noise. So yeah, I guess we're fine, boss. Hooray. Hopefully I won't fuck it up. 
again, it's not a hard boss, so it's kind of hard for me to fuck it up, but I fucked up things that are pretty easy, they're pretty hard to fuck up before, so. Also, I like that computer screen that just has, like, a screensaver on it. Like, he's punching in commands to it like it's doing something, but he's literally not even, like, booting up the computer. Nair, nair, nair. Yeah, it's this motherfucker again, because they just couldn't think of another boss and they didn't want to load another model or something. Right in your stupid schnapps. I had canon that Army Dillo is a dude. I don't know why. I probably shouldn't. I don't know why I shouldn't, but... Well, actually, the fact that the world we live in continues to get fuckier and fuckier, and there's been a lot of anti-Semitism in the world lately. I guess that could be a reason to not headcanon a Donkey Kong 64 boss as being Jewish, but I don't know. I'm sure somebody, probably on Tumblr, would have a problem with it. Because Tumblr's really fucking stupid. Some of you may know this firsthand, but goddamn, that site is garbage a lot of the time. I meant to hit it twice, but this remote is balls, so it only works. Wow, this sounds exactly like the, uh, the grunty fight from Banjo Tooie. Which, unlike this one, is actually a pretty challenging boss fight, and I almost looked that up. Why is Shockwave green anyway? He's not Chunky's boss. Why is the camera fucked? Why is he completely off center from the camera? I guess he's not. Oh, well, not my barrel, you bitch. Find your not Jewish schnoz again. And then he loses his fucking cannons. Oh, I can't hit cannon him anymore because he doesn't have his cannons. Never mind. Offensiveness avoided. Sort of rolls toward me as if I'm threatened. I don't really know why they programmed that because it's not an attack. Again, running around in circle because it's good. It is good for your soul. Oh, please. I have no soul. You evil laughter. And once again, for good measure, and then he fires. Oh, wait. Is he gonna do it now? Yeah, he like fires what I consider to be the Yoshi missile. I, I want to say cannon, it's not a cannon, it's a missile. After this attack, which is just dumb. And, I mean, it's, it's just Yoshi. You hit the barrel, and you hit him in the shots, and then it should be dead. And it zooms way in for some reason. Which is not good camera work, and then he just- he doesn't die, he just turns into the key. Cause that's science. So anyway, yeah, that's Crystal Caves. I ended it very unceremoniously after a long hiatus. Um, so yeah, to end this video, I'm gonna stare at this sign dramatically. Oh, I gotta get really closer. Or, wait, no, I stare at this remote. Ominous thunder. Okay, yeah, so bye.